What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris and today I've got another Sassy Girl Aroma Haul. Um, don't know what weeks these are from. I've lost track of where I'm at in my orders, but this showed up on my doorstep yesterday and I'm ready to see what's inside here. I have not opened it yet and so I don't know. So it'll be just a big a surprise to me as it will be to you. So all that being said, let's rip into this box and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and I opened the box off camera and took out the peanuts. And Sassy does use those peanuts that you just put in water and they dissolve. Just let you know. I don't know if anybody knew that, that those are dissolving peanuts. Okay, so first we got a couple samples. I'll put those here and we'll go over those first. But I am going to take out, and I did pull my, I found my um, my order. Like this seems to be, I think, is the combined order from the weekend of 9-29 and the weekend of 10-6. I think we're gonna find out so it looks like I got some bags in here bags of blocks I have a loaf oh, some more peanuts and I have brittles okay all right so you know, one thing I'm starting to find out now, which is really nice, um, because I've ordered so much from Sassy, that I know I've gotten a good amount of things that I really love that I want to reorder all the time. And there might be some duplicates in here. I'm not sure yet. I know going forward, I did like order stuff that I already have because... I've melted it and I love it and I want more and I just want to make sure I've, you know, always have it. Um, I don't know if there's any repeats in here, but we shall see. Okay, so I think she went back to her original business cards. So here's her business card. Now, Sassy Girl is owned by um, Julie and Tyrell uh, Gebsick. And they are out of Toma, Washington. Oh my God. Wisconsin. She does have a brick and mortar store in Wisconsin. So if you're near Toma, Wisconsin, check her out. If I lived closer, I'd be there a lot. Okay. So let's start with our samples. Oh, I'm just looking at one of the bags. I'm excited. So the first one I have here is Candy Crush. Don't have the set notes. And I'm out of focus. There we go. Okay, this is a little hard to smell. You know, I know Natalie from um, Jersey Shore Living. She opens her boxes and, like, pulls her stuff out so that it can just kind of acclimate. And I'm wondering, because I have noticed that when I go back, because I'll re-sniff these, because that's just what I do. Like when I'm going to put them in my spreadsheet, I'll reopen the bags. And, the, and I, I, the smell seems to intensify. This here, this Candy Crush, whatever's in it, is very light. It almost smells like a buttercream. I don't know. Super light. Um, kind of feels like, um, like a buttercream frosting, but I could be wrong. And then this one here is pumpkin cider. And I have another one right over here. <laughs> this is light too. I, is it just me? Hmm. Let's see. There it is. Okay, it's like a nice cider scent, uh, some spice in there, like cinnamon. Okay, 
we'll see if I can pop it out. You know, I went to work today. I was in the office today, not at home. And when I was getting ready for work, I was like, I said to myself, I need to grab some samples and just throw them in my bag, just a couple handfuls, because I've I got a lot, a lot of samples. And um, work is a nice place to melt those. Yeah, this is nice. This is a, it's a cider, and it's got a pumpkin note to it. It's a good crisp fall like scent I have to melt it and see if it's something that you know I may already have a brittle I, I don't know I got a lot of brittles and blocks and loaves all right let's start with oh Mitchell let's start with these bags I'm stocking up you guys in fact I even have another couple of these coming on a future order so I got two bags of Witchy Woman. Ooh, absolutely love this scent. This is, um, this blend will make you think you walked into a spiritual shop. I love Witchy Woman. Um, it's strong. It's a performer. I put this, I did when I, my brittle that I had. I put it in my warmers in my like living area. Ooh, it was strong. I liked it, but it was strong. So you can really, this a little will go a long way with this. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is like, um, I think, I'm pretty sure there's an egg champ in here. I would say 99% sure. She doesn't give the scent notes, um, but to my nose, I feel like there is some neg shampa. This is just such a great scent. So it's almost like it's got a little bit of a soapiness to it, but in a good way. Um, it's not incense. It's just mm, so good. Every time I do this, it just... And if you think about those stores, those like Bohemian... Oh, I could picture it. Health, health stores, like New Age. Um, you know, where they sell oils and homemade soaps and um, tinctures and things like that and teas and you know so like a new age health type shop or spiritual shop whether you're into like the crystals and um maybe you like to get your cards read or fortune telling or that type of shop so that's the actual vibe you get it's yeah it's really good it's just it's one of my favorites um, I did put the rest of my brittle in the round robin because I wanted a couple other people to be able to smell it and enjoy it. Hopefully they enjoy it. I know Martha took a little bit of the brittle. I don't know if she has warmed it yet. Um, it's great for the bathroom. Maybe you don't want this scent, you know, throughout your house. A little bit in the bathroom. It's a nice bathroom scent. Um, yeah. It's one of my favorites, and I requested it, she poured it, and then she poured it again, and I ordered more, because I just want to make sure I have it, because I like it. Let me see my pre-order form here. These are my order forms. I don't know. I just can't remember. I think this is the one that I, is this the, okay, yes, it is, okay. This one here, the next bag of blocks I've got is, oops, backwards, Southside Serpents. Never smelled it, just went off scent notes. I think I may have seen people talking about it. <sighs> oh, you know what, I'm going to read it off the paper. This is a hint of smooth leather, tobacco, sweetened marshmallow, and sweet bakery. Right? Who doesn't like tobacco scents? I don't know. 
I suppose a lot of people, but I love it. Mm, this is nice. Okay, let me look at these notes again. Smooth leather, tobacco, marshmallows, and sweet bakery. Definitely getting the marshmallow in bakery here. Absolutely. The leather is super mild. It's not... Um, I found... However, most of my experience with leather, I'm going to be honest, is Scentsy. And I found that it doesn't really come off smelling like real good leather. This is nice. It's subtle. I'm trying to see if I'm getting the tobacco here. There it is. Okay. This is really pretty. This is a bakery, a sweet bakery with just a little bit of a masculinity to it. Not a lot, very subtle. And it just, it's really nice. Sweet bakery with a little masculine touch to it. Definitely something, you know, a man would enjoy. Oh, that's beautiful. The more I'm smelling it, the more I'm picking up that leather and that tobacco, and it is perfect. Oh, that is really nice. Oh, I like this. I like this one very much. Okay, this is a winner. All right. Now. <laughs> This is my wild card. This is my, I need to try it. I need to see what it's all about. Um, this is Petrichor. And there are no scent notes on the list that I printed. This is, Petrichor is the scent of the wet earth. The wet earth gives off after a refreshing rain. Now, <laughs> I know Teddy Bees does a Petrichor. I've never smelled that. Um, I've seen, I know Alexis and Natalie absolutely love it. And I believe Charity was like, this is disgusting. So, <laughs> I need to see. Now, this is Sassy. It's a totally different vendor. Um, I think Melissa said this was good. So, let me see. I'm scared. Oh. Oh, this is good. Okay. I expected to smell like dirt. Like nasty dirt. Like mud. That's what I thought. Oh, this is nice. This is really, really good. This gives me um, Banshee Flight vibes. Um, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. There is a freshness here. Um, I'm trying to see. This might be like rich people dirt. I don't know. My dirt don't smell like this. Oh, this is, I just, this is, I love it. There's a sweetness to it, like a sweet earth. Not, not sweet like sugar. It's like a sweet earthy note. And it almost smells, you could smell the wetness in here. Like the, the, the moisture. This is really good. So good. Petrichor is okay. I It's not what I expected. I thought I was going to get a bag of dirt. I really did. I just thought it was going to be dirt. And if that's people's take on dirt, 
I'm down with dirt. I, I'm all for it. Give me the dirt. Bring it on. That is amazing. Love it. Like I said, it gives me Banshee Flight vibes. And you know how I feel about Banshee Flight. That is hands down. I've been talking about this forever since I first smelled it. That, that fresh air cave clean. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking about Banshee Flight, but that's this reminds me so much of Banshee Flight. Reminds me. It isn't Banshee Flight, but it has that vibe, the same vibe. Oh, yeah. I've got some Petricor. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, this one really, really got me very excited. Okay. Alexis, I hope you're watching. Chris likes the dirt. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what my loaf is. My loaf is Doomsday. Okay. This was from 9.29. It is wild berry mousse, vanilla fudge butter, and sugar cookies. And that is Doomsday. Her loaves are beautiful. Stunning. Um, I have not chopped any of my loaves yet. And I've gotten quite a collection of loaves. <sighs> yeah. So. I heard they are very crumbly and the wax is very hard. And I heard people say the best thing to do is to put them in the microwave for like 15 seconds. And then start chopping. I'll let you know whenever I go to chop them. I'm kind of letting them just, you know, get all their juicy and goodness scents all together. And Okay, let's open this loaf and see what this smells like. Let that breathe a little bit. And we are looking at wild berry mousse, vanilla fudge butter, and sugar cookies. Mmm. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that's good. Wow. Oh. I initially really, the, the sugar cookie initially jumped out and hit me. Now, that wild berry mousse is really pulling through, and it is beautiful. It is creamy. Um... Oh, this is something you really want to eat. <laughs> it just, it smells like one of those light, fluffy desserts. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. So the wild berry mousse is, it's real creamy. It smells fluffy. The wild berry mousse smells real fluffy and light and creamy almost like a whipped cream type mousse and then the sugar cookie is just oh that's yeah the sugar cookies good in here it's just a nice sugar cookie you just get a buttery buttery base to this maybe that's that vanilla fudge butter what is it called again? Vanilla fudge butter. This is this is excellent. Oh, I'm very happy I got this. Mmm. It is. It's you get like a buttery cookie note. Um like a buttery sugar cookie. And that like that whipped wild berry mousse. Is like a whipped cream wild berries. Eat this. Oh, yeah. This is a good one, you guys. Really good. But you know what? Rarely, rarely do I get anything from Sassy Girl that I don't like. I'm not saying I have it, because I have. Because face it, 
I just go in and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I like the name of that one. Oh, so-and-so said this one's good. That's how I order my stuff. I'm, but now I'm getting to the point where I've got favorites with her. When I see them, I buy them. Um, and I know on her pre-order list this week, there was quite a few on there that are my favorites. And I'm like, I, yeah, I didn't. Um, I did not order from her this week. I know it's still have time, but no, I'm going to wait. Um, oh, that's, that is just, I asked her to put this one here that I'm, I'll get to it. I asked her to pour that as well and got two more of them because it's just something that the scent is, it's unbelievable. And I told Melissa Johnson if this is something she would go crazy for, I, I, yeah, she, she needs to get it. Melissa, when I get to it, I'm going to call you out again because you need to have it in your collection. You really do. It's, it's, it's a Melissa scent. It's a Chris scent for sure. Oh, this one's pretty too. Okay. So, I don't know how many brills I got here. I mean, I think I got like 14. Yeah. Okay. This one here is Marie. Uh, this is a repurchase. And I believe it was on another list later on down the road. I ordered another bar. And Marie is... Marie is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, vanilla, whipped cream, marshmallow, meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. So basically, it's a Beach Nights blend, and it smells, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Let me open it up. Oh, God. I, you know what? First of all, look at that. It's, tell me that's not gorgeous. You could smell the beach nights here, but then it takes on this, there's just this beautiful perfume quality to it. In fact, I may have ordered the perfume. I got some perfumes coming. I caved. I don't remember. Anyway, there's that, that sandalwood. It kind of makes it more um, sensual, sultry, sexy. It's just beautiful. I mean, if you like beach nights, and I have become insane over beach nights. This is gorgeous. And I'm on a mission to get all of her beach nights blends. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. In fact, because I did order it, because I've every time I'm see now every time I see this. I order myself a brittle and this is just her beach nights it's night on the beach so and then that's toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze and s'mores so let me see okay and then we go to this yes you still get that beautiful beach night scent. That sea salt breeze, the sweet toasted marshmallows. But then there's just, with that added sandalwood in the white magnolia, you start to get more of a perfume. And it is so pretty. It's femininely beautiful and... So it's sweet and sexy at the same time. It's just stunning. Yeah, so she's added sandalwood, meringue, whipped cream, more marshmallow, and white magnolia. But honestly, I feel like the sandalwood in the white magnolia is what changes the beach nights a little bit. Makes it into that like beautiful perfumey scent. And it's so pretty. I mean, this one's pretty. So if you ever see Marie and you are a beach nights fan, Pick up Marie. It's stunning. 
stunning. Um, okay, so well, now that I have it here, I bought another night on the beach. Oh, God. I love her beach nights. Look how beautiful. Love the colors. Look at that beautiful teal. God, shit's pretty. Her beach nights is like so smooth and creamy and you just get this feeling of like just like happiness I know when I've warmed it and I come into the room I do it a lot in here I just get like that I walk in I'm like oh just it's comforting you know like some people have comfort foods this is a comfort scent to me it's very comforting I don't know I really I'm a big fan of sea salt breeze I like that smell and I, I do I like that scent and when you put that with the marshmallow and the oh gosh it's beautiful just beautiful all right now let's go with The ghost with the most. Pretty. That's this one here. Ghost with the most is sweet strawberry, blood red berries, midnight blooming jasmine. I love jasmine. I like night blooming jasmine. I like jasmine. Dark plum, green leaves, black musk, and nag champa. Wonder if I should have got two loaves of these. <laughs> or two brittles let's see oh my gosh is this good wow now this one I will say you do get a little bit of an incense -y vibe to it you get this over sweetness from those berries and plum and then that nag shampoo comes in behind it Oh, yeah. A little bit of that musk in there. This is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. I am so glad I picked this up. The jasmine. Oh, the jasmine. Oh, it's beautiful. So you get this, that, them berries are juicy. They are juicy, juicy berries. Oh, I like how the nag is done in here too, because it's not, it's not taking over at all. It's just kind of like, um, complimenting it. It just. Oh, this is, this is nice. I'm trying to think. Beautiful bedroom scent or bathroom. It's not light by any means. This feels, this smells strong to me. Those berries are wow. And then get that pop of those berries and then in comes that nag black musk and um uh the jasmine oh. and the plum i don't pick up green leaves but that's okay oh this is mm, the ghost with the most beautiful now, I will wait. I generally, I do not melt sassy. Sometimes I do. I have. But I find if I let these sit for a month or two, they're even better. Okay, the next one I have here is pumpkin eggnog. And this is SGA House Blend of Pumpkin and Eggnog. 
Now this one, because it is the holidays, this one I might, oh wow, the, oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a little boozy. I'm getting some booze in here. Ooh, I feel like I can get a little tipsy smelling it. Definitely, I'm getting a boozy note. Unless she did a trick or something to make it smell like that. Very pretty. Oh, it really, it smells like a glass of spiked eggnog. And I'm getting, you do get the pumpkin. It's in there, but woo. That is a boozy eggnog if I've ever smelled one. Julie, did you put booze in here? Is there rum in here? Oh, that's great. That's great. It's, it's a, you get the creamy eggnog, you really do, but you, it's, the, the booze is in there. Oh, that's great. So it's like, a, it's, it's, it's eggnog. It's like if you took some eggnog and we're going to drink it and it's spiked, that's what it smells like. That creamy vanilla custardy eggnog, but it's, it had that rum note there. A little spice, a little nutmeg, um, and a pumpkin is, uh, the pumpkin was very subtle. Okay, this next one is strawberry filled Twinkies. I've never had a strawberry filled Twinkie. Have you? Do they make strawberry filled Twinkies? I don't know. Okay, so strawberry filled Twinkies are sweet strawberry jam with Twinkies and vanilla cream. I've always been a ho ho girl. <laughs> ho ho. Um, I never really was into the Twinkie thing. But this just sounded like it smelled really would smell really good. Strawberry jam and Twinkies and vanilla cream. Oh, it's beautiful, bar brittle too. Okay, it's a nice strawberry. Little light right now. So I think this is gonna need to go, you know, on the back burner. But I bought that. Isn't it gorgeous? I bought this one with spring, summer in mind anyway. By the scent notes. I thought this is a good one to grab now. Okay. Get a strawberry. It's like a, it's like a real um, fresh strawberry. I'm not getting Twinkies or vanilla cream yet. So I think this one needs to sit for a while. Right now, I'm really just picking up strawberry, which is fine. Like I said, I bought this with spring, summer in mind. Uh, we will see how this one grows up and uh, how it turns out. This next one is called Unskinny Bop. And... This one is Beach Nights, Sugar Cookies, Marshmallow Cotton Candy Twinkies. And that's Unskinny Bop. Because you know I love that Beach Nights, which is why I bought this. Because I am on a mission and a quest to try all her Beach Nights blends. Okay, smelling that beach nights. Oh, okay. Got some cookies going on here. So, I'm getting the lovely beach nights with sugar cookies. Um... I'm not getting marshmallow cotton candy Twinkies. 
but definitely Beach Nights and Sugar Cookie, which is a beautiful blend on its own, right? So you got that beautiful Beach Nights with that sea salt breeze. And then you get this hint of bakery behind it. It's really, really nice. But, again, this is going to sit on Skinny Bop. And we'll see if um, Marshmallow Cotton Candy Twinkies comes out at a later date. It may be there tomorrow after these have actually set out on their own. Because I have found that, you know, when I go back and smell something the next day, I'm like, oh, it didn't smell like that yesterday. So, but I don't like to, you know, I don't like to take them out of the box out of time. Because I have no willpower. And I will smell them. I would not be able to take these out of the box and not sniff them. So, there's that. Okay, I'm really excited about this next one. Um, Melissa told me that I needed to get this. She says, I had to get it, I had to get it, I had to get it. She says, I will absolutely love it because I love bon um, Banshee Flight so much. So, when Julie put up her pre-order notification, I ran in and I typed my request in and she poured it. And that's Autumn in New York. And I didn't think she would. I thought, oh, maybe she won't pour it now because it's getting, you know, it's getting too far away from the fall. But she did. In autumn in New York is soil, wet leaves, branches, autumn leaves, petrichor, fallen rain, lavender, oak moss, smoky incense, and cedar leaf. Um, Melissa knows I love Banshee Flight. She got the Banshee Flight herself, and she loves it just as much. Um, and that's, so I trust her that this will be something that I like. Based on, she knows that I love that Banshee Flight. And now I, I'm I loving that Petrichor. So let's see what Autumn in New York smells like. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Melissa. Thumbs up, girl. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This reminds me. Oh, was it last year? Last September or the September before? September. It was like September, October. We, my boyfriend and I drove up to uh, Lake Placid. And Lake Placid's beautiful. It's it's in the mountains. It's it, it's gorgeous up there. That's where they had one one year they had the Olympics there. I don't know what year Winter Olympics because they have a mountain there, White Face Mountain. But we went. It was autumn. It was you know late September, early October when we went, and we did do a little hiking. And. Uh, Yes, this does have that outdoorsy, but pretty. Not, it's, well, I don't even know how to explain this scent. I really don't. It's, it smells like outside in the woods. You know, if you're camping in the mountains, um, you know, uh, And not in the summer. It's, this is definitely autumn. Because summertime things send, uh, tend to smell, smell a little greener. Uh, a little fresher. This smells a little bit more tired. You know, the leaves are tired. They're dying. <laughs> it's so depressing. <laughs> yes. It just, I just, I could picture walking down a path with the golden leaves and them scattered on the ground and they're being pushed into the mud as you walk. 
you know, if they've been, as they've been trampled on, and they just get smashed into that, the damp earth. It, it smells good. It's just a beautiful, outdoorsy scent. Um, this is, I think it's the only way I could describe this. There's so much going on in here. Smoky incense, cedar leaf, autumn leaves, patricor, fallen rain, branches, wet leaves, soil. It's just... Yeah, this is what Lake Placid smelled like. Trust me, I wasn't camping. I don't do camping. That's, that ain't for me. I'm like a princess. You know, I need running water and showers. I don't do camping. Yeah. We did stay in a beautiful hotel with a view of the mountains. It was beautiful. <laughs> I'm try, I keep smelling this because I want to be able to describe it for you and I, other than I, <sighs> reading it off the paper, okay, does it, lavender, I, yeah, there's even lavender in here, it just smells like outside in the woods or in the mountains and or on a trail a, a hiking trail when summer's past there's you know there is no new growth it's all old leaves old tree fallings and clippings and but it's not ugly it's not like oh that sounds real great Chris I can't wait to, no it's not like that it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. If you love the fall, you know, I for me, I always said I love the smell of fall. I like when I leave for work in the morning and I walk outside and the air is crisp and and cold. Well, not cold. It's got like that chill in it. And you could smell the leaves. Where summertime, you walk outside, it's more of a sweet smell with the humidity. It's different. But the fall air is, is like, um, it's almost like fresher and cleaner. Um, but that's the only way I could describe this. I can't, I just can't get the right, there's a lot going on in there and it's it all comes together beautifully. Okay, let's move this. I'm good 42 minutes. This is, yeah, this is crazy. This shouldn't take this long. This next one's called Driscoll, and it's a bowl of fresh picked strawberries, whipped cream, and white cake. Beautiful bar. One of my favorite colors. Look how pretty. Oh. Okay. Um... I'm not sure about this one. This almost has a medicinal note to me. Um, yeah, I'm picking up a little bit of like a cough syrup note from the strawberries probably. Yeah, and I'm not sure about this one. I won't discount it by any means, right? I will um, definitely, this isn't something I'm going to warm right now anyway. I will set this aside in come spring, summer. I'll definitely warm it because things change when they get warm. You know, sometimes you could love a scent, a scent on cold and then you warm it up and you're like, oh, I'm not really that crazy about it. So, it works this way too. You don't like it too much on cold. Then you warm it. It's like, oh, that's nice. But yes, I'm picking up um, like a cherry cough syrup note. That's pretty much all I could smell. That's I can't get past it. So we will see how this one does after some cure time and warm it up. Okay, I think... I don't remember, but I think I have this bar already. 
and I think I repurchased, I think. And this is called In the Cellar, and it's dark, tart dark cherry, pink pepper, warm musk, and green minty patchouli, and green minty patchouli. I feel like I, I may have this one already. This might be a repurchase. So this is In the Cellar. Oh, that's nice. I do have this. This is nice. It's peppery. You get that pink pepper. The patchouli is very nice in here. It does um, lend that, um, that note that, what's patchouli? It's got that. I don't want to call it dirty. It's not. It's earthy. It's, it's spicy. A little spicy, you know? Dark, tart, dark cherry. That's a little bit, it's like sweetens it up a little bit. So it's peppery. There's a little musk. Um, the patchouli is giving it that spiciness with some fruit. So it's kind of like, um, it's an earthy scent. It's very earthy. It's, it, I like this, this smell. Um, I don't know. But yes, it's a very earthy scent. Just a hint of sweetness. It's good, good. Okay, so this next one is Cuddle by the Fire. And Cuddle by the Fire is Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire, Sugar Cookies, Hazelnut Marshmallow Fluff, and Lattes. There's another one that she does too, and I think it's called Snuggle by the Fire. <gasps> that is amazing. But okay, Cuddle by the Fire. Oh, this is good. Oh, my, you guys. Oh. That hazelnut latte fluff marshmallow is so good. Sugar cookies, there's like a, there's a very yummy bakery feel to this. A latte in here, oh gosh, that's good. This is amazing. I, It's sweet. I'm mainly, I'm really picking up on the hazelnut, marshmallow fluff, and lattes. That's really coming forward. This is so, so good. Is there a little zucchini bread in here? What's in fall yoga pants by the fire? I cannot, I can't remember. I have it somewhere it's around it's like a pretzel note or something or i'm picking up something like pretzel or zucchini bread or a bread note oh god that lattes is really really good super good okay I will, this will, I will repurchase this. See, I'm hoping I get a chance to, no, I will. I'll probably like maybe the January-ish, February. All right. Well, you know I got this because, because it's just me. Pistachio custard cookies. Because I love pistachio. That's like my jam. Vanilla custard, toasted pistachio, honey, almonds, and fresh baked sugar cookies. Bring it. It's so good. It's just straight up pistachio. Pistachio goodness. That's all I could say. I don't know if I'm picking up the almond in here. I'm getting a little bit of cherry note. Just 
a little bit, which is fine with me. I don't, it doesn't matter if my pistachio is a toasted pistachio, a true pistachio nut, or cherry almond pistachio. I like it all. The honey. That's nice. Definitely picking up honey in here. So this smells like this smells like a pistachio cookie. Yeah, I would say a pistachio cookie. Because you're getting, because with that sugar cookie in there, <clears throat> kind of binds all the scent together. And it's yeah, definitely a cookie. Yeah, it's a cookie. It's a vanilla, vanilla uh, pistachio. Cookie. It's delicious. If you like pistachio, get it because it's amazing. I haven't met a pistachio I don't like, honestly, from anybody. Um, I just, I just, yeah, I love it. I'm probably going to burn myself out on it. Okay, <clears throat> these last two bars, they're the same. When I first smelled this, I had gotten such an emotional tie to it, to my, my youth, my childhood. And I have never smelled this fragrance, this flower, anywhere, whether it had been in a candle, another wax, ever, smell like a real flower. If somebody puts this bag under my nose and I couldn't see it, I would think they were holding this flower under my nose, without a doubt. Lilacs in a vase. It is a vibrant and floral blend of fresh cut lilacs combined with refreshing morning dew in the cool spring morning air. Melissa, I told you, I have already told you about this scent. You have to. You just have to get this for yourself. Oh my God. It's just, this one really grabs me. It smells like a lilac. If you know what a lilac smells like, I don't even have to explain this bar because it this brittle, it's, it's what it smells like, a lilac, period. End of story. And you could actually smell the stem. It says fresh cut lilacs in the morning dew. You could smell the It's amazing. This is the purest lilac smell I have ever smelled other than a real lilac. It just, this, that's what it smells like. And I'll tell you, I can't wait till that first spring day when we get just that air that's a little bit more warmer in that green smell outside. I can't wait to warm this. I just, I'm. Jeez, oh God. It's a lilac. And I'm sure anybody who's watching has smelled lilacs. We've all smelled a lilac. And that's what this is. It's a lilac. There's nothing in here that tells me, oh, is there a little rose? I don't know. It smells kind of like rose. No, it smells like a fresh cut lilac right off the bush. You go outside, chop it, and put it under your nose. That's this right here. It's amazing. And what I think the morning dew is doing, it's keeping the floral from getting too heady. 
it, it's simply beautiful. It's just beautiful. I will, when the time comes, this will go in my bathroom, my living area, my kitchen, this room here. I will have windows open and this scent will just permeate through my home. I will request it again because I want to make sure I have more. I think I have one brittle. Now I have three. I'd like to get two more brittles. Um, because I'd like to get them soon, actually, because I would like to make sure they've sat for a good while before I melt them. But that's lilacs in, the va in a vase. If you like floral, get lilacs in a vase. Don't pass on this one. Really, don't pass on it. It's it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, yeah, got to get it. That's the most beautiful floral scent I have ever smelled. I've never smelled another floral wax that smells of any flower that smells like an actual flower. Um, they're usually very strong and, you know, you got to be careful with them because uh, they could be too much or they smell a little bit off or, you know, mm -mm, not this. This Lila, I don't know what oil she uses. I don't know if it's because she puts a little bit of that morning dew in there. It, it's my favorite floral. Must, must try it. For me. And if you don't like it, contact me on Instagram. I'll buy it from you. I will. Because I love it. Okay. That's all I got. I have more Sassy Girl coming. I don't know if another one shipped or not. I don't know. Like I said, I kind of lost track of where we are in the... And I do have my orders printed, but I forgot to print a couple. I, You know, I don't know what I got coming. When it shows up, I'll do a video. Okay. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great night day whenever you happen to be watching um thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day your busy lives your busy schedule to watch a video that i've uploaded really 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 means a lot to me please comment like and subscribe and i have what do i got coming more sassy and i think something shipped but it might be perfume i don't know um but I have something else come. Oh, I've got Sunsy bring back my bar on the way. So I'll get to that sometime soon too. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.